My first eight months in real estate, I only did leases, not by choice, uh, but because I didn't know any better and I didn't know how to move on to transactions. Uh, I had to do four to five single family leases uh, every month just to make ends meet, right? And so definitely wasn't a choice of mine to be a leasing agent, but at the same time, that's what I had. And that was really all I knew. I didn't know how to make it to the buyer seller. And I did, I had a seller and I had a buyer and guess what? They both busted out a contract uh, because I was missing some very fundamental pieces to my business. Uh, so eight months of nothing but leases, ran myself ragged. I definitely had the work ethic, just wasn't getting paid for it for the transactional sides of things. I made a big change and I'm gonna talk about those changes here uh, in just a second. But my second eight months in real estate, I sold over 20 transactions, okay? We're gonna be talking a lot about every one of these things in detail uh, and really the business plan that took me from zero transactions to over 20 uh, in eight months. Really, it was closer to six, seven months that I had those transactions uh, locked up in. And we're gonna be talking about those in two different events that we're putting on. One is gonna be July 11th, and that is gonna be our part-time to full-time. It's July 11th, which I believe is a Thursday, and that's gonna be from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. We did it at that time so that we could attract uh, and work with our bridge group agents that are currently part-time going to full-time, but we're opening it up to everyone. Anyone that wants, that, that, that is your goal to go from part-time to full-time. The second one is July 22nd. We are starting our launch pad. Uh, and that is the training that we bring all of our bridge group agents through in our onboarding, but also just our, our, our sales education. It's everything that they don't teach you in uh, Champion School of Real Estate or any of the real estate schools that you have to go to get your hours in to get your license. So, uh, you know, so going back, what was it? What was that, that transitional period? What did that look like? And why did I go from nothing but leases to transactions? And again, there's nothing wrong with leases. There's there's absolutely nothing wrong with being a leasing agent, except uh, if you want to have a fantastic career, you have to learn how to do hundreds of leases uh, in a year, in a very short amount of uh, time to have the same success as someone that's selling 20, 30, 40, you know, uh, real estate transactions. So that is something uh, the bigger your team gets on the lease side of things, the smaller your margin. So I don't like to stay there. I like to encourage people to cut their teeth in real estate on leases, but then move past that, right? So how did I do that? My, my environment, I changed my environment big time. Uh, my environment had collaboration, competition, and experience. Uh, that is what we offer here at the Bridge Group, but that's what I came into after I left the boutique brokerage and I joined a team. Uh, I had collaboration. I had people to sit around the table after team meeting. I had a team meeting, right? I didn't have that before, but I had uh, the opportunity to sit around a table and say, hey, what are you guys doing? Where did you get that piece of business? How, what did you say to them, right? Uh, and then have them kind of troubleshoot certain deals with me. Uh, competition, okay, Natalie. Uh, you know, Natalie Ty is a good friend of mine, but she, we were always back and forth, right? Uh, she is the, 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 the broker uh, and the owner of the net group now. Uh, but at that time, we were both on the same team and we were always chasing uh, each other's success. But also, she was a fantastic mentor and collaborator with me uh, on my team. So competition is a fantastic environment to be in for me anyways. Uh, and then experience. I had team leads that would go on listing appointments with me or team leads that would go on a buyer appointment with me or I had team leads that I could I could troubleshoot stuff with, right? They could deal doctor things with me and for me. So uh, my environment changed and then I changed, right? Uh, my business, cha business changed much uh, for the better. And then I had a plan, right? Uh, they didn't necessarily go through a business plan with me, but at the same time, I hired a coach and that coach w started going through a business plan with me to get me from point A to point B, right? And to have stair-step growth. That's really what we're gonna be talking about. Really the biggest plan for a part-time agent to go full-time is to have a plan to back out of the full, uh, your current full-time to go into real estate agency full-time. You have to have a plan just to do that, right? Uh, most people don't have a plan and that's why they never make the jump. They just get their license. Their license is collecting dust rather than commissions. So having a plan also on a team and in this environment 
uh, there was accountability with that plan, right? So I hired a coach. That coach is holding me accountable to the thing I said I wanted, right? Which was, you know, every agent says they want to make six figures their first year, right? I said that, uh, and they got me there because I followed the plan, right? This is a roadmap to get me to my destination. Community. Uh, community is another one of those environmental things, but at the same time, I no longer was alone. In a even a small boutique brokerage, you're still alone, right? You don't have a, you might have a broker that's maybe there for you, maybe not. But at the same time, on a team, you're not alone. You, you have people that are interested in your success because the more I win, the more the team wins, right? Uh, and you also have team members that are all over the place. I had veteran uh, peers. I had people that were newer than I was. Uh, I was the veteran to some people there, but I just wasn't making any money. Uh, so, you know, community is a huge thing uh, for me to go to a community and know that, hey, they're going through the same issues I am, right? Uh, we just had one of our agents last week uh, just really kind of share how they felt like, hey, like I'm not making any money yet. Brand new agent. I quit my job. I'm nervous, right? Is anyone else here nervous, right? And we all raised our hand and said, we were all nervous at one time, and there are a lot of people that are still nervous, but at the same time, if you do A, B, and C of your plan, you won't be nervous for very long. And then number four is tools and resources. There are tools and resources that are out there right now that you would not believe. If you don't know about them, they're not going to do you any good, right? Uh, but on our team, we pick and we select, and we still have multiple coaches now that are showing us, hey, these are the resources that you need to be up to date with. The, this is how to use those to expand and grow and mature your business. So I hope that was helpful. That's what helped me whenever I had joined a team and get me from nothing, eight months of leases uh, to eight months of absolutely crushing it. And then we went on and on and on. And uh, now we have one of the top 20 teams in Houston and are continuing to crush it year over year. So hope that was helpful. If you would like to join us for July 11th uh, from six o'clock to nine o'clock, uh, that is going to be our part-time to full-time. If you're currently a part-time agent or if you're a brand new agent, we're going to be talking about a lot of things that, uh, uh, that, that kind of bleed into the same success for a full-time agent. And then Launchpad is going to be July 22nd, uh, and that is a month long. Uh, it's at a very intense training, but uh, we have agents that come into it all the time, uh, and they're, they're like enlightened, right? Uh, they go out and they are truly launched, their careers launched from it. So hope to see you there. Let us know if you can make it.